Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's a game me and many others play almost daily to have a fun, competitive experience. CSGO is probably my favorite game out right now. It has a lot of unique factors which make it better than most games. It has a really nice competitive scene. It's really my favorite game out right now. But that's not to say CSGO doesn't have any flaws. Trust me, there's tons of flaws. Just to name a few, we have weapon balance problems, anti-cheat problems, griefing problems, hitbox problems, and the list goes on and on. Now I'm not just going to completely rant about these topics, I'm also going to give my two cents on how I would fix them if I worked for Gaben. So you see the CT right here. He is fully equipped with an M4, armor, and everything. You know, he's really fully equipped. Now, do you see this terrorist? He has a 5.7 in his hand. No armor. You know, he's really not that geared. He picked up a 5.7 off one of the CTs, and he's gonna try and do whatever he can with it. But since the 5.7 is so overpowered, and you can just one tap somebody in the head with it, and you can't do that with an M4, this happened. I don't mean to just rip on the 5.7 right now, I'll show you all the pistols that are overpowered and what it looks like to shoot somebody real fast and get that leg up or getting wrecked by a pistol. Okay, yeah. So then you just have useless pistols like the CZ-75 which are the same price and in the same category but are just useless right now. That's really what they are because Valve had them overpowered and now that they nerfed them a while back, now they're completely useless. Valve doesn't know how to make guns balanced. So if Valve hired me and they were like, yo, Eunuch, what would you do about the CZ? I would be like, yo, Gabe, listen to me right quick. Okay. So, we're gonna make the ammo capacity more in the gun. So, I did some research, actually. So, I'll have a picture of the article on screen right now, but as you can see, it says the fully automatic CZ-75 had a standard 16 round magazine and was later upgraded to a 25 to 30 round magazine. Now, I think the 25 and 30 round magazines would be really overpowered for the gun, kind of be like a Keck 9 right now, but 12 to 16 rounds is a lot, and I do really think this would balance it. Don't increase its damage, don't increase its fire rate, don't increase its mobility, but just give it that and also give it one more mag, similar to the USPS where it has one mag and then two bonus mags. If you have this, this is a really balanced eco pistol. Now you could also do, keep it at 500 and just have two mags where it is right now, but have that extra four bullets making it balanced-ish. Not completely, but I really think that's what I would do. Let me know what you guys think about that in the description below. I think that's a really good way to balance this pistol. Really would benefit oppers. Not really everything else besides eco and oppers, but it'd be so much more balanced in my opinion. Maybe not yours. Okay, let's also not forget before we stray off the topic of the CZ, just remember that you can two tap with the CZ up close in the head to get the kill, but with the Tech 9 and the 5.7 and the P250, we can one tap. So here's a clip just showing the underpoweredness, I guess, of the CZ or the overpoweredness compared to, I, I don't know. <laughs> To kind of wrap this up, I just want to ask Valve one question. Why can this happen? But this also happens at the same time. So why can we pay $500 for a pistol and get one taps for days, but at the same time spend three grand on something that we earned and a complete full buy and, you know, not have that equal advantage? It's two taps, you know? That makes sense. So I guess my final, final stand is to reduce the God pistols, the P250, Tech 9, and the 5.7 movement speed about 10% because it's just so run and gun at this point. 
and they need a nerf on that field. Also give the Tech 9 and all of the guns less ammo in my opinion. The real Tech 9 in real life has 20 rounds instead of 24, which it currently has in game. And also why can I have 120 bullets in the 5.7? I would give it 40, so you have one mag and another mag. You don't need that much ammo really, with something that already is overpowered. And lastly, I'd just probably give it the damage of the CZ. You don't need a one tap machine. I would say give it one tap without armor and a two tap scenario just like the m4 but less damage overall you know what i mean just give it that cz damage model and all these pistols will be nice and balanced <laughs> So weapon balance. Now, there's actually a lot of guns in CSGO right now that are just useless compared to other guns, and I think every gun should have a use in some scenario. Like one of the guns I think needs a buff is the Sawed Off. Even though it has two more rounds than the Mag 7, the Mag 7 is much easier to get kills with than the Sawed Off. So I think it doesn't need to be exactly equal since the Sawed Off does have more shells, but they do need to make it at least a little bit easier since it is way easier to get kills with the Mag 7 and get an op third round if you save first round by a Mag 7 second round on CT and try and get an op third round and then do the same and try and get kills on second round with a Sawed Off. Another weapon I'd like to see get a minor buff is the Scout. Now a lot of people will not agree with me on this, but not an actual weapon or statistics buff, but what if the Scout rewarded you with $400? My reasoning for this is it is a really cheap sniper rifle and it is even below two grand and a lot of weapons grant you $600. So why can something also being eco-friendly only give you 300? It's still weak and now with the Jump Scout pretty much banned by valve well not banned but killed by valve it's kind of useless unless you have no money and you're just trying to snipe i guess lastly like i said about the pistols having a movement decrease i would like to see the same thing with the p90 since it is retardedly overpowered at this point in lower ranks we could talk about the mp9 and other smgs that are very run and gun but i feel they're quite balanced for the most part they could use a minor speed decrease but nothing too major now everybody's gonna disagree with me on this last statement but i feel like the lmgs need a minor speed buff i really wish the lmg was bought and used correctly nowadays it's just people who want to troll an lmg should be something that when you have a huge amount of money you put a big sacrifice down on your economy and pretty much say i'm gonna buy this weapon that is gonna be able to hold down a site so let's say i'm gonna hold a long on on dust too and I can tell my team to have one mid and everybody else stack B and I can hold down A long perfectly since I have 200 rounds but how slow it is and the accuracy they're kind of useless so you use them as troll guns I wish they would buff them slightly not make them overpowered but make them a high risk high reward type gun <laughs> So now, I don't think a lot of people actually bring this problem up in CSGO, but map problems? There's a ton of them. First off, I want to talk about the many places where you can throw the bomb to where your teammates can't get it and you lose the round if they're going to save or you can't get all the kills. Now, most maps in CSGO, there's multiple places where you can do this, but I'm going to show Inferno and as you can see, just in T-spawn area, there's probably 10 to 20 spots where you can do that. Now, this one fixed griefing as a whole in CSGO, but it would limit it a little bit because now they can't just throw the bomb away so you automatically lose the round. You at least have a chance if they're not trying and they can't throw away the bomb. Griefing is a terrible problem in CSGO and there's no real way to fix this besides Valve actually making making it less kills to get kicked but still that could affect some people who are just trolling with their IRL friends or people they play with all the time. Now that is why I'm not going to be talking about griefing in this video. If you actually have a good solution on how you could fix griefing in CSGO please feel free to write it in the comment section below. Another map change they need to add is peaking spots that are pretty much one way where you have the advantage Advantage. I'll have the video Trillix did on this topic in the description below. I'm just going to be replicating some of the crevices and peaks that you can do with an op that are very one way and you have the leg up over the opponent. The majority of these were on Dust 2 and Mirage. 
Now, there were plenty more that Trillix did, but I just wanted to showcase the ones that I thought were completely unnecessary and kind of overpowered. Now, I understand where some people come from on this and they're like, well, it's a strategy game and this is just a strategy. Get over it. Yes, it is, but sometimes you can't do anything about this. It's just completely overpowered. I think it would be nice if Valve kept it how it is, but if they made both sides be able to see it. For example, the one on A that watches Cat. What if the people rushing up on Cat could see it too and the first one who gets to the peak first win. That's strategy right there, and that's skill. Yes, it could still be in the CT's favor, but at least they can't just hide there and continue to get peaks. Eventually, they'll be taken out by an opper who isn't being shot at. I'd like to end the video on this topic. Now, this is probably one of the most complained topic or just most talked about topic besides the pistols, if not even more than the pistols in CSGO right now. But yeah, yeah, hitboxes, that's all we ever complain about, yeah. But hitboxes are really, really bad right now. Even though they fixed them, they're getting better and they're heading in the right direction, but they're still bad, we can all face that. Did you know that your backpack on your player model is not part of your hitbox? I'm not sure if that sounds normal or not, but I'm pretty sure that the backpack should be part of the hitbox. In real life, if you got shot in your backpack, pack you'd probably get hurt so i'd like to see valve actually implement better hitboxes now i'd be preaching to the choir if i said well why don't we just make matchmaking 128 tick it would fix most of these problems to the extent that sounds great and all but what would happen to face in the sca if matchmaking the standard would just have 128 tick they wouldn't be any special at all so i don't see valve actually implementing that anytime soon but it would be nice but we gotta remember that it sounds nice but i doubt it's ever gonna happen what really bothers me is why don't we have 5v5 unranked so when somebody just gets level 3 and they play matchmaking for the first time it's gonna be unranked so people who are in the same boat me being the gold nova 3 i play with a lot of unranks if you're in any gold nova rank you're pretty much gonna get a couple unranked every few games because that's where they place you in at the start i'm not trying to be judgmental or anything but if you have a matchmaking game and the whole enemy team is actual gold novas and four of you guys are actual gold novas but you have one guy who doesn't even know how to throw a grenade and he's asking how do you run <laughs> That kind of sucks. But my last point is VAC anti-cheat. It's very bad. It doesn't get the hackers. It mainly false bans people or just doesn't work. For those who don't know, I got falsely VAC banned on my main account. I had Cheat Engine open for downloading uTorrents a little bit faster. And I didn't realize I had it on. I had it as one of the startup on boot options. And it just VAC banned Arenoed me when I jumped into a competitive game. Now, I wish Valve had a system where they would put you in secure mode if they realized you had one of these softwares open not necessarily a cheat but if they know it's some third party program like even c cleaner can ban you guys so i wish they would just put you in insecure mode if they found this out but i just think the valve vac anti-cheat is just completely garbage because you see this clip of this guy just completely spin botting in one of my old videos and then me who just had cheat engine open now i know you can hack with that but i wasn't hacking with it apparently you can hack with it i really didn't know i thought you could only hack old games and you can make things download faster but kind of stupid how that bans you but you could have a spin bot software open and yeah thank you for watching if you stayed till the end that means a lot to me since this took a while to make this did take a really long time and if you guys did agree with anything i said sharing the video around and getting people to notice it and notice the issues would really help the CSGO community as a whole because if we all decide on one issue and kind of focus on that issue, we can eventually get it fixed. But I hope I didn't trigger anybody too much with some of my fixes that I came up with. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please leave me a like. If you didn't, please leave me a dislike and have yourselves a nice day. Peace, peace. Sit down, priorities are all over the place and shit Stress levels rise, then that J gets lit Try on shoes that Jay-Z fit Fuck all that complacent shit I'm just dropping crazy shit Trying to outdo those fools who think they can spit But I can't even lie Got this real life shit's passing me by Talking to myself and I'm asking me why Would I feel better as an average guy? But I know that's just a lie Pour up a glass and get high Wonder if this rockstar life might take a toll on me